Cycle Tempo is a very powerful software for thermodynamic analysis and simulation of energy systems. It's a flow sheeting program, therefore we can start by selecting the components of the system we want to model. In this case, it's going to be a simple ranking cycle, therefore we have selected a pump, a boiler, a turbine and a condenser. The second operation we want to perform is to connect the component using pipes. We use a water pipe to connect the condenser with the pump and the pump with the boiler, and then a steam pipe to connect the boiler with a turbine, and finally another steam pipe to connect the turbine with the condenser. We can of course adjust the position of the component, until we are satisfied with the result. Here we are missing few more components, namely the electrical generator, a shaft connecting the turbine with the generator, and we also need a source and a sink for the liquid water loop that cools the condenser. And for that we of course need also a pump. Similarly to what we have done before, we connect all these components using water pipes. We can of course add a description of the system we want to simulate, in this case a simple ranking cycle. Now we have to input the data for the components, a pressure of 80 bar at the outlet of the pump and an efficiency of 65 percent. For the boiler we specify a pressure drop of 0 bar and a temperature at the outlet of 400 centigrades. The turbine has an isentropic efficiency of 85% and the pressure at the outlet of the condenser is approximately 40 millibar with a pressure drop of zero. The delta temperature of the condenser is 5 Celsius. The reservoir water has an outlet pressure of 1 bar and a temperature of 15 centigrades. The isentropic efficiency of the pump is 75%. We specify, furthermore, that the system must generate 30 megawatt of electric power. We need to input a few more data. For the pump of the cooling water, the outlet pressure is 2 bar and its efficiency is 75%. The efficiency of the electric generator is 100%. And we can finally run the simulation. As you see, there are no errors, the results are readily available and we can briefly check that the calculation is correct, in fact it finished normally. So we can display all useful results directly on the process flow diagram by adding information boxes at the inlet and outlet of each component. Of course, this is not the only graphical output that we can get, but we could get Molière charts, tables and many more.